everybody, it's Sheila here, and I'm here with a video um, about how to get images and ephemera for your stash and for your projects and your journals and everything that you do. If you are like me, and you're a paper crafter, and you love ephemera, then you have a ton of it like me, but you can never get enough of it. And I just wanted to show you uh, some place where I've got uh, images that you might not think about. You know, I'm, I'm all about, um, I guess for lack of a better term, getting things on the cheap. <laughs> so, um, all these images you see here in front of me came from my Sunday newspaper from the... The majority of them came from the like the circular ads, you know, for your stores. And I was really shocked at how many images I was able to get. Now, this did come from two Sunday newspapers. I got close to a hundred words and images, and then over here are some numbers. I didn't count all these little individual numbers, but um, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things you can get that you might not think. Well, I, I can't get that out of a circular or my Sunday newspaper, but you can. And this first thing here is actually this, I love this, it's a black and white vintage looking photo of this woman, you know, looking out her car window. And it is big, but my current journal that I'm using right now is big, and this will fit in it perfectly. And I just love that it's black and white because I love black and white photography. Um, and then over here, like I said, I've got some numbers. I got a few uh, kind of miscellaneous things. I got a little milkshake. Yeah, the Gadox. I love her. These are just interesting, so I got those. I got a bunch of coffee stuff um, that I can use um, over here because I'm doing um, an in moss journal. Um, I am doing a two page spread of colorful things, so I got these little beads. This was actually off of a rosary. And then um, this thing here. I'm going to do a pink page. And then just some various different colored things that I cut out all out of the circular. Um, I also got some fruit here. Then I'm going to do a page on fruit. So I got a bunch of fruit. Um, doing the holidays. I got some St. Patrick's. Like I never would have thought I would have got that out of the newspaper. <laughs> just saying. Just some of that. And then some spring type stuff. I really like this as outdoors with kind of spring flowers and gardening tools on it. And, uh, okay. Ah, come on. I like this. This actually came from the Michael Circular. Make it fresh for spring. I like that. And this. Uh, this is flowers. And I was just like, like I said, surprised. I got this really cute kitty. This was, I think, a plate or something you could buy. Super cute, right? Look at and then here's my words and actually I gotta tell you I was surprised that these came from um, you know circulars bliss spark joy play madness what's for dinner fresh I mean, just all kinds of words that I didn't even think about and then what's even better is that these are the last two weeks worth of circulars that I've gone through um, tons of stuff for Easter and candy and my stuff is flying all over. Sorry, so look at all this, like, all this little, you know, aren't those cute? Super cute. Just a lot of candy because I'm doing, um, a page on candy. And I use this stuff in my regular journal too, so it's not just for, uh, my in moss journal. And then I cut this big one out. Um, this big one for Tic Tac Gum. You know, just all kinds of stuff. And like I said, I was just really surprised at how much I found in circular ads that I really liked and that I can use. So, if you've never thought about going through your circulars and ads and stuff in your Sunday paper, do it because you get a lot of great, yummy stuff. Alright guys, I hope that gave you some ideas. Maybe try looking in different places for your ephemera and your images for your all your journaling needs. And I hope you liked the video. If you did... Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!